Hi, I'm Dave Anderson, and I wanted to address a question that's shown up several times on the AP teacher community about a tax on firms and how that affects the quantity that each firm produces in the long run. So suppose that there's a $2 tax on each unit for this firm in this market. Well, that's going to increase the cost of producing each unit. It's going to increase the average cost and the marginal cost, each by $2 per unit. So we shift each of those curves up by $2. The average cost of each unit now is $2 more. The marginal cost of each unit is now $2 more. That so will also shift the supply curve for the market up by $2. So we see a $2 shift upward here. This distance is $2. Remember that the price initially does not go up by a full $2 because we have this downward sloping demand curve. And while this distance is $2, the difference between the original price and the new price is less than $2. This is $2, this is less than $2. So initially we have P2 here and what's going on for the firms? They are making losses because the minimum of average total cost is up here and the price dictated by the market at the market equilibrium is down here. So initially, in the short run, firms are going to be making losses. In the long run, firms exit. So we have a decrease in the number of firms and a decrease in supply. And that continues until we reach a point like S3. That's our new supply curve. And at this new price, P3, firms are making zero economic profit. What quantity will they be producing at P3? Well, the increase in the tax just shifted the cost apparatus up by $2. So this point is directly above this point. And the new quantity that firms will be making will be exactly the same as the old quantity. So this $2 tax on firms in the long run has no effect on the quantity produced by each firm. Ciao.